A major pattern change bringing bitter cold and potentially snow to the east is ahead. We could see strong to severe thunderstorms stretching from eastern Texas up through the Ohio Valley today. And the American model sees two possible tropical cyclones in the Caribbean within the next five to six days. It's October 18th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. Both the GFS and Euro models see a big collapse of the polar jet as we get into the end of October and beginning of November. This could potentially bring a lot of cold air into the plains and out east and even potentially some snow into the Ohio Valley and and inner New England. This right here is our GFS, and this is our Euro model around the same time. You can currently see these small wobbles in our jet stream. This isn't what's gonna bring the coldest air down from the north. But as we move forward in time, you'll see these kinks in the jet stream really starting to show up. Here's what could happen as we get into around Halloween and November 1st and 2nd. These large collapses of the jet stream here. This is the type of jet stream pattern that allows that 20 to 30 degree below average air to sink into the states, and that could actually put some snow down in the plains or out east. This is very far out, so take this with a grain of salt, but I do think a pattern like this would definitely promote some snow out in the Ohio Valley. You can see here portions of West Virginia, Eastern Ohio, and Western Pennsylvania, and then potentially up here through New England. We're likely not gonna see snow in this exact area because this is far out in the run. But as I said, snow in these areas, even maybe in the upper Midwest, is definitely a possibility, potentially as early as Halloween. We do have the threat for strong to severe thunderstorms across the majority of Dixie Alley today. Although I will say I've actually seen a downtrend in this as we've gotten closer to this severe weather event. I would say the one area I'm most concerned with is this region down here, central to southern Arkansas and then through northern Louisiana and eastern Texas. It does look like we could have some damaging straight line winds associated with this squall line. This squall line looks to initiate in the early afternoon somewhere around the Dallas-Fort Worth region before moving off to the east throughout the afternoon and evening hours and then eventually making its way all the way into Mississippi where we could actually have a little bit of a nocturnal threat tonight. The SBC still has a large 2-5% to tornado risk for today. So if you're anywhere in and around this region, make sure you have multiple ways to receive weather alerts. And this does encompass a lot of states as you can see here. The American model does see two potential tropical cyclones forming in the Caribbean over the next five to six days. Now, some of these model runs have one or two of these storms meandering in the Caribbean for a while before eventually moving up to the north and impacting the United States. And some of these runs simply have these systems just moving off into the Atlantic. You can see that right here when we look at our European ensemble. There's definitely a question still of where these potential storm systems may track towards if they do form. Let's say if you're in the southeastern US though, just stay up to date with what's going on in the tropics. Although there's no immediate threat to the states right now. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your weather-related questions. I'll see you in the next video.